Let's go ahead and do another example of solving logarithmic equations. So let's say we have the base 6 log of x minus 9 plus the base 6 log of x minus 4 equals 2. Okay, so this one, it's a bit more complicated than the previous examples that we've looked at uh, so far. So the first thing we want to do is use the uh, product rule for logs to squish this left-hand side together into one logarithm. So the way we're going to use the product rule is uh, base 6 log of m plus base 6 log of n equals base 6 log of m times n. Okay, so then on the left-hand side, if we squish these guys together, what we're going to get is base 6 log of x minus 9 times x minus 4. And then still just equals 2 over here. So now what we can do is um, a couple of things we can do next, but what I want to do now is a FOIL inside of the log. So we're going to have base 6 log of, um, if we FOIL here, we're going to get x squared and then minus 4x minus 9x gives us minus 13x. Oops. And then minus 9 times minus 4 is going to give us uh, plus 36. Okay. So that's what's going on here, and then still just equals 2. Now, uh, I do want to point out that these square brackets aren't really necessary because it's sort of implied that all the multiplication happens inside of the base 6 log. But these parentheses here um, on the bottom line are necessary because we do want to make sure that we understand that this entire expression is inside of the base 6 log. And if you leave out the parentheses, then it's going to look like only the x squared is in the log. And we want to be careful about that. Um, OK. So now what we do is convert this to its equivalent exponential form. So if we have the base 6 log of x squared minus 13x plus 36 equals 2, that's the same thing as saying exponentially x squared Oops. x squared minus 13x plus 36 equals uh, base 6 raised to the power 2. OK, so if we simplify a little bit, we get x squared minus 13x plus 36 equals 6 raised to the power 2 is 6 times 6, which is 36. So that's kind of nice. Um, we have a 36 here and a 36 here, so those are going to cancel out. So we get x squared minus 13x equals 0. What a nice coincidence that this worked out to be so nice. Uh, so here, x squared minus 13x equals 0. What we can do now is factor out an x. So we get x times the quantity, x minus 13, equals 0. And then that tells us that uh, x equals 0 or x minus 13 equals 0, which means x equals 13. Okay, so it looks like we actually have two solutions, right? So um, you might be tempted to stop here and just say, okay, x equals 0, x equals 13, done, moving on. But we do want to be very careful that that's actually, we're not entirely done. So um, the point I've been emphasizing in the previous examples for these types of equations is we always want to check our answer. And we're going to see here that it's actually very important um, in the specific example that we do that. What happens if we plug in x equals 0 back in our original equation where we uh, first started? So if we plug x equals 0 back into our original equation, we get base 6 log of 0 minus 9 plus base 6 log of 0 minus 4. So we get base 6 log of negative 9 oops, plus the base 6 log of negative 4. And this is actually very, very bad because remember when we first introduced logarithms, we talked about the domain, um, what we're allowed to put inside of a log, and we are not allowed to put negative numbers inside of logs. So this is a huge no-no. So we cannot have base 6 log of negative 9. And we didn't actually even need to look this far, but we also cannot have base 6 log of negative 4. Okay, So this is totally not allowed. Um, and what that tells us is that x equals 0 is actually not a solution. So no, x equals 0 is not allowed. So uh, no, x equals 0 is not allowed. Now, if you plug in x equals 13, 
um, everything actually will work out. Plug in x equals 13, everything will be okay. So x equals 13 is actually the only solution to this equation. And one other thing I want to point out is when you check your answers for logarithmic equations, um, it is very, very, very important that you use the equation that you started with. Use the equation that you started with and do not use a uh, later equation. So for example, if we plugged in x equals 0 into here, everything actually would have worked out. But we didn't start here. Okay, we didn't start with this equation. We started with this equation here. So we have to plug x equals 0 back into here. Okay, so be very, very careful about that. When you check your answers to logarithmic equations, uh, make sure that you plug your answers back into the equation that you started with. Okay, so um, I guess just to be thorough, let's go ahead and check 13 also. Uh, we are here to learn after all. So uh, if we check 13, we're going to have the base 6 log of 13 minus 9 plus the base 6 log of 13 minus 4. Now, um, 13 minus 9 is 4, so that's the base 6 log of 4, plus uh, 13 minus 4 is 9, so that's the base 6 log of 9. So far, so good. Okay, 4 is positive, 9 is positive. Uh, everything so far is okay. It's all allowed. Now what we can do is squish these guys together into 1 using the product rule for logs. So that's going to be the base 6 log of 4 times 9. And 4 times 9, remember, is 36. So this equals, uh, should be probably right equal signs. Uh, this equals uh, the base 6 log of 36. And this simplifies to just plain old 2. Okay, because when we say the base 6 log of 36, what we're really saying is what number do we have to raise 6 to to get 36? And the answer is 2. We have to raise 6 to the number 2 to get 36. And uh, is that good? Is that what we wanted? Um, let's go back up and find out. Yes, 2 is what we wanted because 2 is what we have right here. So this is what we wanted to get, and that is what we got. So we're in good shape. Um, the only answer to this equation, again, is x equals 13. And again, I do just want to point out, very important, when you solve equations like this, always check your answers, and always plug your answers back into the original equation you start with, not a modified version of it. Okay, so that's example 3, I believe, of uh, solving a logarithmic equation.